On Halloween night in 1986, guests at Universal Studios Fright Night were looking forward to a night of fun and scares. Only the guests this night would get a shock they never expect. Shortly before 9 p.m., guests were loading onto the Terror Tram, which is a backlot tour that shows the insides to how the movies are made. But being the Terror Tram, this one comes with a scary twist. On the tram's route, guests pass through different designated sections where scare actors jump out and interact with the guests. And in one of these scare sections was 22-year-old employee Paul Brooks. Paul was dressed as a corpse this night and was hidden amongst mannequins that were dressed the same, so guests would have a hard time picking out Paul. As the tram approached, Paul was ready and jumped out, giving the guests the scare of their lives. Only this is when playful scares would turn to fright. As Paul was playing his part, something went terribly wrong, and Paul somehow got caught between the third and the fourth sections of the tram and was crushed, dragging Paul a hundred feet before the tram stopped. But it was too late. Paul had died at the scene. The next day an investigation would be opened into the cause of the accident, and investigators found that the tram hadn't malfunctioned or suffered any problems, and the death was ruled an accident. Following the incident, Universal wouldn't host another Fright Nights and would rebrand the event as Halloween Horror Nights, reopening again in 1991 while the terror tram wouldn't return until the following year in 1992. And to this day, Universal no longer allows scare actors to interact with guests on the terror tram.